Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tis Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. And before we get into the teaching, we want you to think about two scriptures and how they come together to bring miracles into your life. One, is there not an appointed time? Yeah. Two, I will open up the windows of heaven. This is the appointed time. And over you, God is about to open up the windows of heaven. You are in the right place right now. Today, Larry and Tiz are going to reveal to you ancient secrets of the Bible so you can learn how to break every curse and remove every limitation off of your life. Larry and Tiz will teach you how to release the blessings and miracles of God into your life, family, business, and ministry. It's your time to walk in the fullness of God How does the connection between an appointed time and the windows of heaven, yeah. what does that have to do with you? And what does that have to do with your blessing right now? Now, let me explain something to you because this is the last week. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in one week, the window of heaven for this time of the year, wow. which is for prosperity, will be gone. Yeah. Now, let me explain to you. Malachi chapter 3, Tiz, God says, return unto me. That word return in Hebrew is yes. teshuvah. Return yes. unto me. Mm. And in Hebrew, it's called the offering of return. Yeah. Return unto me and I will return unto you. Mm. All that I am, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sitkanu, Jehovah Mekadesh, Jehovah Shalom, all that I am, yeah. I will return unto you. Now think about this. Mm -hmm. This is God, God comes up to you and says, listen, if you'll, yeah. if you'll return to me, everything that I am, wow. I will return to you and Amen. open up the window of heaven. Yes. And, and because we read the Bible in English, we miss what God is saying. The word window in Hebrew is the word you showed. Hmm. And every Jew knows what a you showed is. A you showed is a channel or a funnel from God's anointing, God's power, hmm. God's ability to your need. Wow. So he, God says, if you return to me, yeah. saying to the Jewish people, you, yeah. if you return to me, I'll return unto you. They say, man, your anointing is going to come to all my needs. Yeah. How do we return? Yeah. And God says, in tithes and in offerings. Mm -hmm. But their understanding of tithes yeah. and offerings is different, different. than ours. Yeah. Because they understood yeah. That when God said tithes and an offerings, and you said it in the program before, the offerings of old, yes. the offerings of old, mm -hmm. that three times a year, God has an appointment. Yes. Now, I want you to think about this. If, if, if you have, if you're going to the doctor, you have to make an appointment. Right. If you're going to see your lawyer, you have to make an appointment. Yeah. If you're going to go see the pastor, you make an appointment. God says... On my calendar, I've written your name down wow. on my appointment book. Whew. But if you miss the appointment, wow. I'm gone. Yeah. You miss the appointment. Yeah, that's Three surreal. times a year, God has an appointment. And at that appointment, he opens the mm. windows of heaven. But here's the key. He says, return unto me and I'll return unto you. Yeah. This scripture about people coming back to that three times a year is not about the first church or the Jewish people before the coming of Jesus because they never left that. Hmm. Let me say it again. They never stopped bringing Passover offering. They never stopped bringing uh, Pentecost offering. They never stopped bringing Feast of Tabernacle offering. When Jesus came riding in on a donkey, they were all there waiting for the lamb right. because it was Passover. When the day of Pentecost is fully come, Jews from all over, they were there to bring that offering. Yeah. So if it's not for the first coming of Jesus, right. it means it's for the second coming. Right. And that means this promise mm. of God opening the windows of heaven, of God rebuking the devourer, of God canceling our debt, of God bringing yeah. his channel from his ability yes. to our need, that is for us mm. today for those who have eyes to see. Wow. You know, Larry, Psalms 122 says we were happy oh, when yeah. it was time yeah. to go to the house of the Lord. And this is why they were happy, because God wasn't trying to get something from them no. or from us. He's trying to get something to us. 
but there is a channel that we need to go through to make that happen. Say that again. I was happy. I was happy when I went to the house of the Lord. Because they heard it was time. Yes. Now tie that in yeah. with the Hebrew understanding yeah. of God loves a cheerful cheerful giver. Yeah. That's where these things come from. <laughs> See, we, we, we have to be able to connect the dots exactly. in order to get the blessing that happens. Yes. Now, let me, let me prove something to you. I've been meaning to do this for the whole month. You can get all these teachings in, in, in oh, our man. study Bible, Good in God. all of our teachings. You can get them. But let me prove mm -hmm. that this is for the second coming yeah. of Jesus, not the first coming. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. Listen to what it says. God says, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, mm -hmm. even the messenger of the covenant. Wow. Then it goes down to say, Return to the offerings of old. He's going to judge the, 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 the priesthood for yeah. not doing offerings yeah. correctly. And then he says, Return unto me, and I'll return unto you. Now, how do we know this is for the second coming. How do we know this miracle, this, this end time transfer of wealth is for you? <laughs> well, number one, they hadn't gone away. Hmm. They were still doing this. Malachi was written to about 500 years before Jesus. Yeah. So from Malachi till even after Jesus and the destruction of the temple, mm -hmm. they were still bringing first fruits. They were still yeah. tithing. Jesus yes. himself said, you pay tithe of the smallest seed. Yeah. So they hadn't stopped doing it. The ones who have stopped doing it is us today. Wow. But God says, return unto me. Yeah. But let me show you something else. He said, behold, I send my messenger. Now, I always preached until I studied the Hebrew of this. Yeah. I always preached that the messenger was John the Baptist. You probably did too. And he says, he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord who you seek will suddenly mm -hmm. come to his temple. Yeah. Jesus never came suddenly the first time. Mary was, Mary was visited by an angel and said, mm. you're going to have a child. Yeah. And she knew no man. Mary was pregnant nine months. Yeah. Mary birthed Jesus. Jesus was a child. Yeah. He ended up being bar mitzvah in the temple. They're on their way home. They find Jesus isn't there. And they go back and he's teaching in the temple. He yeah. goes in the ministry and yeah. he's 30 years old. John the Baptist sees him. He says, baptize me, John. John baptized him. The Holy Spirit comes on him. <laughs> Jesus goes up and is tempted by the devil. And he resists the devil and wins. And Jesus is, then comes in on a, on a, on a donkey. And yeah. they checked him for four days as the pastor over lamb and then they crucified him and he hung on the cross and then they buried him on the third day he rose again then he was seen for four there was nothing sudden about his first coming but in his second coming he's yeah. going to come in the twinkling of an yes. eye he's going to come as a thief in the night yeah. so folks this prophecy about God opening up the windows of heaven about the latter rain being greater than the former yeah. this is for us today yes. if we return unto him. Yes. How do we return? To the offerings of old. We mm. know the tithe, but on Passover, yes. on Pentecost, and on Feast of Tabernacles. Yes. And the prophecy mm. is that it will be Gentiles, yeah. a group of Gentiles Amen. who see this. And when they do this, this will bring such favor yeah. on these Gentiles. And if you're watching, you're one of those Gentiles yeah. on these Gentiles. And the world will see such mm. favor. All the world will call you blessed. Yes. They'll see such favor that everybody will say, yeah. I want to serve the God that you're serving. And you know, Larry, we are seeing cool. that. We've been teaching this for, what, 18 years or At so? At least, yeah. But we see that very thing happening in our people. Absolutely. In fact, we go home from church when, we've see, when it's been time for those offerings saying, can you believe the joy in our people? Because they know what is going to come out of them giving. They're giving something small compared to what God, God is bringing is back. back to them. It's so fun. See, this is this is the key, Tiz. This is the key, and and that's why these products are so important, so and, important. and the teachings that we've got in this yes. Bible. Because I mean, there's guys, there's 36 mm. years of teaching in yes. here that you and your pastor oh. and your Bible study and your family yeah. need to get of how to break the curse, the yeah. seven places Jesus shed His blood. But but let me just give you a little taste of of the miracle that's that's taking place. Yep. We go back to the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go, we're going to pray to break Amen. the curse of poverty, yes. to break the curse of debt, 
break the curse of lack. Yeah. But a lot of people who love the Lord are functioning under a poverty yes, curse exactly. because of what the church is teaching. Yeah. Because of because of religion. We did. We did. We taught years. it for 17 years. Yeah. We taught against prosperity yep. and against the prosperity teachers. And let me tell you something. I did that and I understand. But any preacher that preaches against prosperity has never been hungry has never needed rent, has never need. Listen to me. God said, beloved, I would above all oh, things please. that you prosper and yes. be in health. The two things I want the most for you, my children, is health yes. and prosperity. Yeah. That's pretty powerful. Ex but absolutely. what we've got to understand is that the religion yeah. has taught not the Bible, yeah. but tradition of man. And yes. I'm going to get into this. We're going to go back to Genesis, but we have to take a break. But listen to what I'm saying right now. Jesus was not poor. No. We've been taught that, that little baby Jesus was poor and he was born in a manger. Listen, before Jesus was born in a manger, his mom and dad went to the inn. Yeah. They went to the, the hotel. They went to the Hilton. Yeah. They had money, but there was no room there. Yes. Not because they were poverty and poor Jesus is right. going to be born in yeah. the manger. We're going to, when we come back, we are going to break that cur I'm going to show you in the word of God Amen. that you've been lied to, that the devil's lied to you. Why is that important? Because the Bible says when you discover who the thief is, yeah. when you discover God has not been holding your breakthrough mm -hmm. back, but the devil is, and now your eyes are open, yes. you're bringing that first fruit. God will not only open the windows of heaven, but he's going to pay you back everything that's yes. been lost in Man. the name of Jesus. I'm going to show you something that will change your life. We'll be right back. The calendar indicates that this is the appointed time of Pentecost. Now is your opportunity to give the second of your first fruits offerings that opens up the windows of heaven over your life, family, business, and future. As a way of saying thank you for your gift of any size this month, Pastors Larry and Tiz will send you the best-selling book, Free at Last. This book will help you to regain your joy and hope, experience divine health, mend broken relationships, and walk in true prosperity, body, soul, and spirit. With your Pentecost offering of $50 or more, we'll add the teaching Breaking Family Curses on six audio CDs. Join the tens of thousands of others who have seen their lives, families, and futures changed as a result of this revolutionary teaching. With your first fruits offering of $175 or more, we'll expand your gifts to include the new Blessings Without Limits CD DVD combo and this unique and exclusive Torah scroll statue specially created for friends and partners of Larry Huck Ministries. This exquisite representation of God's Word will remind you of His love, faithfulness, and the message of Jewish roots. As you sow your Pentecost offering of $500 or more, we want to send you all of the resources sources already mentioned, plus our leather-bound Larry Huck Ministries Partner Bible, which includes 32 pages of life-changing teaching notes and insightful excerpts from Pastor Larry and Tiz's 35 years of study. You'll also receive this matching journal where you can write sermon notes, answered prayers, and personal insights you receive from the Lord as you study His Word. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and let the operator know which level of giving you prefer. You can also go online at LarryHuckMinistries.com and make your selection there. Or you can send in your offering to the address on the screen. As you're learning today, Pentecost is one of God's appointed times that brings with it promises of great blessing. But if you miss this divine moment, it won't be here again for another entire year. So please let us hear from you today. And one of our helpful operators will receive your gift and get these resources to you right away. The first thing, and we're going to pray in just a minute, but the first thing I want to show you in that in understanding this first fruit offering is to understand this. Money is not the root of all evil. Right. The Bible says, and we hear that so then we, we taught that. Yeah. The Bible says loving money, loving money more than God yes. is the root of all evil. Yeah. But in, in Hebrew, in ancient Jewish wisdom, tis money is one of the most spiritual yeah. things you can have. Yeah. Because money is payment for your life. Right. Exactly. Money is money is you can buy drugs with money or mm -hmm. you can feed a child with money. Yeah. So you've got to understand that wealth yeah. 
is not a bad thing. Yes. Wealth is a great thing. And I'll prove it to you very quickly in the Bible. In the book of Genesis, God created the fish and he created the cattle and he created the birds and he created the mountains and he created the oceans and he created, created everything. Yeah. But at the very end, now listen to this, the Bible says, and up the river Pishon yeah. is where the gold is and the gold is good. Yes. Now let me give you some ancient Jewish wisdom. God never said where the fish were. Yeah. He never said where the birds were, where the cattle were. The only thing God said where it was was the gold. Yeah. And ancient Jewish wisdom says what that is saying is that if God can trust us through his spirit, he will show us where the gold is. Now, mm. let me say it again. If God can trust us through his spirit, yeah. Jesus commanded, said, don't you leave yep. until you get the Holy Spirit. And on the day of Pentecost, and the day of Pentecost is when we bring the first fruit offering. When, yes. we, when we show God, God, we trust you to yes. be Jehovah Jireh, yes. our, our provider. Mm -hmm. His spirit yeah. will show us where the gold is, and it says the gold is good. Yeah. Then you get into Genesis, and the Bible says Adam and Eve disobeyed. Mm -hmm. They kept they took what was God's, right. and God, it says, he removed them, and he placed them out of the garden. Now listen to this. Genesis chapter 3, verse 22. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us to know good and evil, and now lest he put out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat it and live forever. Therefore, now listen to this. God sent him out of the garden to till the ground from which he was taken, and so he drove man out of the garden, and he placed a cherubim at the east of the Garden of Eden and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way back to the tree. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to this. In Hebrew, when it says, when it repeats something twice, yeah. it means there's a secret. He put man out and he drove man out. Yeah. In Hebrew, it means he physically removed man mm -hmm. from provision and then he divorced himself from being Jehovah Jireh, wow. their provider. Wow. And he cursed the ground with thorns and thistles. Hmm. Here comes Jesus, and wow. instead of disobeying, he said, Father, in, Adam disobeyed in the Garden of Eden. Mm. Jesus said, Father, not my will, but thy will be done yeah. in the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm. And then they rested him. Wow. They took the very curse yeah. of poverty, the thorns, yes. they wove it into a crown, placed it on the brow of mm. Jesus. We're cursed by the, brow, the sweat on Adam's brow. We're redeemed from the curse by the blood on mm. Jesus' brow. Oh. Now listen, but listen to this. And then he said he mm. put an angel turning to the north, the south, east, and the west with a sword of fire. We've been taught that's to keep us out of paradise. Mm. But in Hebrew, it's in the last days our eyes will be opened we will see the promises of God and God through the fire, the Holy Spirit wow. will lead us and guide us back into wow. paradise. Wow. That God is so good. wants to break the curse, yes. the Amen. blessing of God. It is mm. your Father's good, good pleasure, pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yes. Now, mm. I've got to move in the Holy Spirit just, just, just for a moment. This is the time, this is the week you send in your first fruit. This is the time that you do this. But as we were changing clothes from last program to this program, I saw something in my spirit, mm -hmm. and i got to share it with you. I saw, as I was changing, I saw in my spirit like black thunderclouds mm -hmm. just sitting heavy, and you were under those black thunderclouds. But then I saw like an airplane, like these are the clouds, Tiz, and I saw like an airplane mm. coming out of the clouds and into the sunlight. Mm. There are people watching today, yeah. you're saying, Pastor, this is, this is what I've been missing. Yes. Nobody's ever told me about mm. first fruits, or I didn't understand about first fruits. And I'm telling you, there are people emotionally, financially, you're under a heavy cloud but I'm telling mm. you, just like that jet plane, Tiz, yes. coming, I saw it in my spirit yep. coming out of that. Amen. Coming out of that heaviness and into yes. the blue sky, Amen. the bright sunlight of the blessing of God. Mm. And you know, it's tied in, and, and I know we don't have long, 
but it's tied in with uh, uh, one of the most important things we can teach yeah. is when God is getting ready to bless you, yeah. he brings you a chance to be a blessing. Yeah. That's what Jewish Jesus was teaching when he said, don't you worry about what you're going to eat. Yeah. Don't you worry about what you're going to wear. I know you have need of those things. That's what Gentiles mm -hmm. worry about. That, that, what that means, Gentiles, is that's what those who have no blood covenant. Yeah. Through the blood of Jesus, you have a blood covenant to break the curse of lack, to break the curse of poverty, to break the curse yes. of, of debt and, yes. and devour. You have a blood covenant. Amen. But he brings you, for your part, he brings you a chance yeah. to be a blessing. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. That word righteous in Hebrew is stedka. Mm -hmm. It means acts of charity. Hmm. When you send in your first fruit, yeah. not only is God going to open the window of heaven, but I know in my spirit, Tiz, yep. there's a double portion blessing Amen. because w when right before we came into the, into film, yeah. we got a phone call. Now we're taking an offering to help Holocaust survivors in Israel, and I'm yes. I'm I'm passionate about this. I'm mm. I'm so excited to be a part of helping these yes. 170,000 Holocaust survivors yeah, in Israel. We're mm. going to take an offering on your behalf. We're going to take an offering in your behalf yeah. to our school in our friend school in yes. in part of Israel, I'm not allowed to say where it's at, I think, um, of horribly abused children. But right before we came in to film, a couple days ago, we got a phone call. We're feeding, you and I are feeding 4,000 kids yeah. in Haiti. They never ask for money. No. The, this is the greatest ministry in Haiti. It is the mm. greatest ministry in Haiti. And they called and they said, Pastor, we're embarrassed yeah. to say this, but they've had a, 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 a tremendous need. Mm -hmm. And I said, we're going to help you take care of that. Yeah. And, you know, this is the key because we knew we we're going into first fruits. When Tiz and I give our first fruit offering, when you give your first yes. fruit offering, God breaks the curse Amen. of poverty. He, he breaks. It's called Bikorim. Yes. This offering is the promise of things to yes. come. This is the 30, 60, 100 fold. Yeah. But there's going to be a special blessing because we're going to take it to Haiti yeah. and we're going to take it to Israel. Mm. We're going to be a blessing. And what we do for yes, others, that's right. God will do for us. Yes. I feel I feel so strong yeah. that there's people that have been battling finances so yeah. bad. Yeah. It's like you're suffocating. It's yeah. like these clouds are on you. Yeah. It's like yeah. you're suffocating under the weight yes. of this thing. And, and this is what I'm seeing in my spirit. And you're starting to get a turnaround. Mm -hmm. And you're starting to catch your breath. But God doesn't want you just to catch your breath. He yes. wants you to break through that yes. cloud and you're never going back under Amen. that heaviness again. And I just see what you've taught before, but that that offering connects us. It's the channel of God's blessing oh, to our need. Absolutely. And I just see people, I so see what you're saying and see that myself, but people under that cloud and that oppression of not being able to get ahead, not being able to meet your needs. And this offering connects God's supply, his supernatural abundance to your need. This is so supernatural, Larry. It, oh, it can't, so it, it, can't, it cannot happen biblically yeah. any other way. Yeah. Anytime we give to God, anytime we give to God, we give to a ministry, mm. we give to Haiti, we give to Israel, anytime oh, it's going to be blessed. But this is that appointed time. Yeah. This is that window. And I, and, and I declare, I know this to be a fact, not yeah. just because I read it prophetically, but I know this in my spirit. What, what the, yeah. many rabbis are saying is these Gentiles, mm. these Gentiles who see this, they're going to become God's bankers. Yeah. They're going to become God's people that will see such blessing. Yes. Now think about it. This yes. is what they're saying. They'll see such blessing Amen. that it'll draw the world yeah. back to God. What does Malachi say? All the world will call you, you. blessed. We want to pray for you right Amen. now. Not only do we want you to send that first fruit right now. Don't wait. Don't let this window pass by. We're going to take something to Israel. We're going to take something to Haiti. We're, we're, we're already, we already told Haiti it's yeah. on the way. But we're going to break that curse Amen. off of you right now. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, Tiz and I know what yes. it's like to mm. need a miracle on Monday and then another one on yes. Tuesday. I, we know what it's like to not be able to breathe. And I yes. break that. That is a curse yes. that has been paid for yes. by the blood of yes. Jesus. I break every curse. Every I curse. break religious curses. Yes. 
that say that God is not a God of abundance. I break that right now. I break the spirit. I feel this very strong. The spirit of condemnation Mm. on people. You say, you know what? I don't deserve it. Listen to me. You do deserve it because of Jesus Christ and his blood. We break every curse. And Father, I release this end time Mm. miracle of open windows of heaven. And I declare according to your word, it will never shut closed again. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. amen. You know, mm. I, I just feel this. There's somebody, mm. there's several people that are going to, the, the, the miracles are going to be so extraordinary. Amen. Financial miracles. Yep. Please, I, I just, I've never said this before. I mean extraordinary miracles. I want you to write me and yes. tell me what they are because these are going to be life-changing amen. miracles. We're Larry and Tizak. We love you. God bless you. And from this moment on, you will win. You will live yes. under the open windows of heaven. Amen. We'll see you. The calendar indicates that this is the appointed time of Pentecost. Now is your opportunity to give the second of your first fruits offerings that opens up the windows of heaven over your life, family, business, and future. As a way of saying thank you for your gift of any size this month, Pastors Larry and Tiz will send you the best selling book, Free at Last. This book will help you to regain your joy and hope, experience divine health, mend broken relationships, and walk in true prosperity, body, soul, and spirit. With your Pentecost offering of $50 or more, we'll add the teaching Breaking Family Curses on six audio CDs. Join the tens of thousands of others who have seen their lives, families, and futures changed as a result of this revolutionary teaching. With your first fruits offering of $175 or more, we'll expand your gifts to include the new Blessings Without Limits CD-DVD combo and this unique and exclusive Torah scroll statue specially created for friends and partners of Larry Huck Ministries. This exquisite representation of God's Word will remind you of His love, faithfulness, and the message of Jewish roots. As you sow your Pentecost offering of $500 or more, we want to send you all of the resources Resources already mentioned, plus our leather bound Larry Huck Ministries Partner Bible, which includes 32 pages of life changing teaching notes and insightful excerpts from Pastor Larry and Tiz's 35 years of study. You'll also receive this matching journal where you can write sermon notes, answered prayers, and personal insights you receive from the Lord as you study His Word. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and let the operator know which level of giving you prefer. You can also go online at LarryHuckMinistries.com and make your selection there. Or you can send in your offering to the address on the screen. As you're learning today, Pentecost is one of God's appointed times that brings with it promises of great blessing. But if you miss this divine moment, it won't be here again for another entire year. So please let us hear from you today. Again, you can go to LarryHuckMinistries.com to sow your first fruits offering online or call right now, 800-978-8546, and one of our helpful operators will receive your gift and get these resources to you right away. Thank you again as you join us in sharing the life-changing message of the love of God. Your support is greatly appreciated. 